Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you heat a liquid in a closed container. I have an Erlenmeyer flask with uh, some water in it and it's stoppered tightly with a, a rubber stopper and I'm heating it on a hot plate. And so we'll observe what happens. Um, of course, the vapor pressure of water increases with temperature. So inside the, uh, on the gas phase, there's water vapor and air and uh, the heat is causing, uh, although it's causing the air to expand, it's, it's causing uh, the, well, the pressure of the air to build up because the temperature rises. It's also causing the water vapor pressure to increase. And uh, one has to be careful. I have this shielded so it won't uh, hurt me. Um, but as the pressure builds up, it can go above one atmosphere and the external pressure of course is one atmosphere so um, eventually the pressure will be so great that it will uh, cause the cork to the rubber stopper to blast off so we'll let it go for a while and see what happens Okay, well, pretty spectacular. Everything's kind of warm here. The water, um, I'm going to turn the heat off. The water um, rapidly boiled off um, because uh, the pressure dropped to one atmosphere inside. So uh, one has to be careful, obviously, when you're heating a liquid. Uh, you never want to heat a liquid in a closed container uh, because the pressure builds up. The liquids all have vapor pressures and uh, water is no example. And you can raise the temperature of water above 100 degrees in a closed container because uh, um, the vapor pressure is contained and uh, of course, the water could be very hot, so one has to be very careful. I would not recommend doing this demonstration, um, certainly not uh, students doing it. And if uh, you're a chemistry faculty member, use uh, proper shielding and be very careful. All right, thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.